Okay, as promised, here's how I do my angel wings. Now this is the third time I've tried it, and this one is on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. I've flooded it with black paint mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water. The gold that I'm using is PBO metallic gold mixed with Floetrol and a little water. And the off-white that you see is actually Golden's uh, Interference Gold mixed with Floetrol and a bit of water. So the whole concept really is a series of swipes. You're going to be layering your iridescent uh, pearl paint, the uh, gold interference, and swiping the paints down, creating layers and providing some texturing, which looks a bit like feathers. Uh, you'll see now I'm using Golden's High Flow Acrylic in Iridescent Pearl. I used quite a bit of it, and actually I used up every last drop of it that I had, but it was worth it. Um, again, a damp paper towel swiping the paint down. You really have to use a light touch because you don't want to uncover an awful lot of the black that is the base coat. So you'll see as I'm layering up, uh, I'm trying not to create a lot of texture. You want a little bit so it'll look like feathers. So most of what I'm doing now is with the Golden High Flow Acrylic Iridescent Pearl. And you'll see actually got a little bit of dendrite action as well. When this piece dries, I plan to go in with black paint and shape the bottom of the wings more like they were on the second piece that I did. Uh, because of the amount of off-white or iridescent pearl paint I used, I was pulling my swipes down and off the bottom of the canvas. That's probably okay, but I really did like the shape that I got the last time I did the angel wings. All in all, it's a pretty piece. Um, I'm going to do it again larger. And see, that's what I was saying about a light hand with your paper towel or you're going to expose the black. So I continually go in and add more paint. It actually fills in beautifully and the iridescence ends up looking a lot like feathers in the close-ups. Um, I hope you enjoyed the process. I hope you can make make one and actually tag me so I can see what it looks like. It's a, a beautiful painting. Now I'm adding a little bit of uh, the high flow iridescent pearl at the top to create these sort of feathers that sit at the top of the wings. And I just do three or four little lines. And then with a the palette knife, I do my smears, pulling the paint up and into the black and then also using the palette knife to bring the iridescent pearl across the gold, which is the first color that I put down on the outside of the wings. And I continue to do that and layering on the pearl until I get the shape of the wings that I want. You have to really be careful to touch up little spots on the black because they will show considerably when it's dry if you've, if you've managed to get a drip or two of the uh, light colors on the black background and of course keep torching to make sure you've got all of the bubbles out. I find the high flow acrylic 
tends to have a fair amount of bubbles because you want to shake the bottle up a bit before you use it. This piece of music is called The Angels Weep, and it was just so appropriate for this painting, I couldn't help but use it. It's fairly majestic and a little grand, but aren't the angel wings grand too? So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me, email me, or message me through Facebook, Life and Splatters. And please subscribe. I'm trying to build up my channel, and I would love to have you watching all the new videos as they come out. Thanks again. Bye. Let's keep making beautiful things.